Today's video is how to update the firmware for HTX and the multi protocol module. So let's get started. First, we need to download both firmwares for HTX and the multi protocol module. I'll have links down in the description so you can click on them for a direct access to both websites we're using. First is HTX. You will notice in this screenshot from HTX Buddy that we've got two drop down tabs on the top left hand corner. One is for the firmware version, two is for the radio being used. In this case, we're using firmware version 2.10.5 and Radio Master TX16S. Down at the bottom, you click on the firmware bin download button. That's going to save the firmware onto your computer. Put that in a place where you can find it in just a few moments. Next, we go to Multi Protocol Module Firmware Download website. And you'll notice you've got a few more things to configure on this website. However, once you've selected the option I have shown on the screen, down below you click on the zip file and download the firmware as well. Next step is to plug in our radio with the USB C port to the USB on the computer. You can do this if you don't want to take the SD card out of the radio, or you can take the SD card out of the bottom and put it into a card reader in your computer. I'm going to just do it by plugging in the USB C cord to the top of the radio. Once you plugged in the radio, you will notice it says USB and gives you three options. You want to click on the USB storage SD. Once you see the USB screen pop up, you should have a pop up on your computer that shows you all the folders of the radio. You will notice at the top folder on this screenshot where it says firmware. You just want to double tap on the firmware folder and take these two firmware files that we downloaded earlier and put them into that folder. Now we can flash the firmware to the radio. Let's start with HTX and a feature called bootloader mode. Bootloader mode allows us to flash the firmware to the radio. Power the radio down, hold T4 to the right and T1 to the left while powering the radio back up. We're going to click on right firmware with the scroll wheel and we go down to the HTX firmware we downloaded which, as I mentioned earlier, version 2.10.5. You're going to click on the folder, and then you long press the flash. Once it starts this process, do not try to turn the radio off or do anything until it completes. Side note, when doing both of these, or one or the other, because you may not need to flash the firmware of both at the same time, always make sure you have a charge battery or your radio plugged in. You will notice now it says writing completed. So we're going to push the return button and exit out of the menu. Scroll wheel. Once you've done that, it will power down and then it'll turn on. You'll notice it says version 2.10.5 Centurion, which is the one we just flashed. Now let's flash the multi-protocol module firmware onto the radio. HTX, we use the bootloader mode. With multi-protocol module, we use a direct flash from the SD card. I'm going to go ahead and push the system button on the top left-hand corner. And then you want to click on the SD card. Once you've done that, you'll see the same folder that we've seen earlier when we did a direct access to the SD card by plugging in the USB-C cable. We're going to go into firmware and we're going to click on the newest version, which is 1.3.4.0. When you click it once, it highlights it. When you click it again, it pulls up the flash internal multi, flash external multi, copy, rename, and delete. We're using an internal multi protocol module, so we're going to click flash internal multi. If you are using the external, you just click the flash external multi. I'm going to click on that. You'll notice it says flash device. Same rules that apply for earlier. Make sure your battery's charged up so it doesn't go dead in the middle of the flash or have your radio plugged in. You'll notice it's doing the same thing. It says writing and it scrolls across the screen. Once it's done, it will say flash successful 
and then it's been completed. There's our screen for Flash Successful. Now we can back out to the main menu. Now we've completed the firmware process for Edge TX and the multi protocol module. If you found this video informative or learned something new, go ahead and push like down below. To see future TX16S tutorials, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next one.